On this week's episode, we'll take a look back at the round 16 senior highlights and round 16 reserve grade scores, while we'll also view all the round 17 senior highlights and have a look at how the reserve grade competition featured in round 17. We'll also see who's lining up against each other in the final home and away fixtures of 2015 with round 18 action this weekend. But before we look at any action, a big congratulations to Port Douglas full forward Kai Chapel and Cairns Saints Matthew Walsh, who both brought up their 100 goal milestone efforts in season 2015 last weekend. Heading into round 17, Walsh needed the seven goals to reach the milestone, while Chapel only needed the four goals. It's definitely going to be a shootout in round 18, with Cairns Saints taking on Port Douglas up in Port Douglas and Walsh is one goal clear of Kai Chapel. It's the first time in AFL Cairns history that two players have kicked a 100 goal milestone in the same round. So congratulations to Kai and Matthew on a fantastic effort thus far. Port Douglas recorded their 14th victory of 2015, defeating Central's Trinity Beach by 68 points at Cratham Park. The Crocs were at their scintillating best, kicking seven goals in the opening quarter to stand up against the finals bound Central's Trinity Beach. The pace of Ash Davidson proved hard to handle for the home side with Davidson kicking four goals in a great game for the small forward. South Cairns donned the purple Guernseys in support of their 2015 charity. The past month has been a real purple patch for the Cutters, winning three straight. It was a thrilling finish at Kazali's for the second versus third contest. South ended up winning the game by two points. The forward combinations of Smith and Barnett resulted in three goals each. South Cairns' Jack Marino's pace was the difference with the Cutters moving to outright second spot after round 16. Cairns yeah! City Lions kept their slim finals chances alive in round 16 with a convincing 102 point win over the North Cairns Tigers at Watson's Oval. The Lions ball movement was slick with the visitors recording nearly 40 scoring shots in round 16. The Lions were impressive all day and this was their fourth win over the Tigers in 2015. Lions half forward Adam Gross was impressive up forward, kicking six majors for the day. Round 16 of the reserves saw the following results. Central's Trinity Beach were too strong in the second half, defeating Port Douglas by eight goals. Cairns City Lions defeated North Cairns at Watson's Oval by 41 points. The senior match was tight, but so was the reserves, with Can Saints coming from behind to defeat the Cutters by three points. It was first versus second at the crock pit, and definitely a battle for the Premiership contenders. Port recorded their 15th win of the season, and their third against the Cutters this year by five goals. As it has been the case all season, the Crocs' ball movement was fast, their ability to run forward of the contest was superior, and their effectiveness going into their attacking half was first class all day.
Only needing four goals for his 100th milestone, Chapel snapped this brilliant goal to bring up the ton early in the fourth. He had the crowd falling over fences in celebration. It was a great tribute to the feat by Port Douglas surprising Chapel with the presence of his mum on the ground. After a thrilling two-point loss in round 16, it was Can Saints recording a 23-point victory over a gallant Lions outfit. Like Chapel, Walsh brought up his ton in round 17, right on the three-quarter time siren. This is the sixth time Walsh has kicked 100 goals in a season, proving his consistency. Not only did Walsh achieve the 100 goal milestone, he kicked a game high eight goals to record the Saints 11th victory of 2015 and put them back into second spot on percentage with one round to go. Centrals firmed their final spot after a confidence building 157 point pumping of North Cairns. Centrals were unstoppable, recording 54 scoring shots to seven in a clinical display. Joel Child was unstoppable up forward, bagging 12 majors at Crowden Park. Central's live wire Damien Rowe was also influential, kicking three in round 17. This was the Dogs' eighth victory of the year and their third against North Cairns in 2015. Round 17 of the reserves saw the following results. Central's Trinity Beach easily accounted for North Cairns, winning by 112 points. Cairns Saints were too strong for Cairns City Lions at Griffiths Park, winning by 11 goals. While Port Douglas defeated ladder leaders South Cairns by 38 points. The first of round 18's matches will see Port Douglas taking on Cairns Saints at the crock pit. This is the most important match of round 18. It is first versus second, and it is a must-win game for the Cairns Saints Football Club. Port Douglas sealed the minor premiership several weeks ago, and they still sit in first place, three games clear on the ladder. They've won 11 straight games, and in round 17, they defeated South Cairns by 30 points. For the Saints, they defeated Cairns City Lions in round 17 by 23 points at Griffiths Park, despite a slow start. This game, as we said, is a must win for Cairns Saints if they want to secure a second spot and a double chance come next week, weekend in the final series. If they lose and South Cairns defeat North Cairns in round 18, it means South Cairns will finish second on the ladder and Saints will need to play an elimination final coming up against Central's Trinity Beach. Of the three matches in 2015, Port Douglas have had the Saints measure, winning by an average margin of five goals. There will be plenty of interest in this game for the full forwards also. Both Kai Chapel and Matthew Walsh both reached their ton of goals in round 17. At the moment, Matthew Walsh is one goal ahead of Kai Chapel, sitting on 101 goals. Port Douglas are the best attacking and defensive team in the competition, while Cairns Saints are ranked just behind them in second, so this match at the crock pit will definitely be a classy affair. South Cairns will take on North Cairns at Fretwell Park in round 18. Despite a hot streak of four consecutive wins, the Cutters were defeated by Port Douglas by five goals last weekend. The equation for South Cairns is simple. They must win, and Port Douglas must win against Cairns Saints to secure a second spot on the ladder. An upset loss would mean the Cutters would be relying on Port Douglas to win and have, making sure their percentage is superior than the Cairns Saints team. For Norse, round 17 saw them defeated by Central's Trinity Beach, another finals-bound side, by 157 points. 
This was North Cairns' 11th 100 point plus loss in 2015. In 2015, South Cairns' average winning margin over the Tigers has been a staggering 102 points. South have averaged over 150 points on total against the North Cairns outfits this year. South Cairns will definitely be using this match as a preparation for their Premiership tilt in a few weeks' time. The final match of Round 18 and the final match of the home and away season for 2015 will see Cairns City Lions taking on Central's Trinity Beach at Holloway's Beach Sporting Complex. Despite a gallant effort in Round 17, it was the Saints that got victory over the Lions by 23 points. In promising signs for the Lions, they led at half time but were overrun, so that'll give them confidence heading into this weekend's match. The Lions have only managed the five wins in 2015. Four have been over North Cairns, and the other has been over Central's Trinity Beach early in 2015. For Central's, they recorded a form and confidence boosting win last week with a 26 goal victory over the North Cairns Tigers. Central's Trinity Beach, regardless of round 18's result, will finish in fourth spot and will contest in elimination final. Their opposition will either be Cairns Saints or South Cairns, pending on round 18 results over the weekend. The Central's Trinity Beach Footy Club currently have an eight and nine record this year, and they would have been promising signs after the first half of the season, so they'll be looking to regain this form coming into round 18 and then into finals next week. Of the 2015 encounters between these two sides, the finals bound dogs have won two, while Lions have won one early in the season. A reminder, all reserve grade times will be 1 p.m. this week, and seniors will kick off at 3 p.m. For more information about round 18, the final home and away fixture of 2015, or our competition, please visit www.aflcans.com.au. We look forward to seeing you at the footy this weekend. Tune in for another episode of AFL Cans TV next week. AFL Cans, it's a great game.